Only on News 4, a company in St. Charles County is now facing charges from the Attorney General's office. They're accused of scamming dozens of customers who have been stealing thousands of dollars. News 4's Alexis Zotos has been following this investigation for months now, and she spoke to the people who want their money back immediately. You gotta keep them on a leash because you don't have a fence, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's a pain as you see. You can't keep anything out. He gets wrapped around everything all the time. Mike Falcon is one of dozens of St. Charles County residents who say they've been scammed by Tri-County Fence. They just never showed up. No, never showed up, and I know people got it way worse than I did. Ten months after paying the company nearly $4,500, Falcon's yard still sits empty. A story we heard from several other victims last fall. It was about $3,000. It was an aluminum black fence uh, for $3,198 deposit. They still have about $6,000 of our dollars. But now the owner, Craig Sutton, is charged with 22 felonies, including stealing, deceptive business practice, and exploitation of an elderly person. I just want to see him uh, punished for what he did. Falcon started a Facebook page which helped organize victims across multiple cities and counties. That led to the Attorney General's investigation and now charges. An arrest warrant has been issued for Sutton, but he's not yet in custody. We tried to reach him. Craig's son, Garrett Sutton, is named in several lawsuits from victims of the fence company, but he's not facing any charges at this time. Garrett's the one that came out here, so that's the only person I dealt with. But the person who cashed the check was Craig Sutton. And you never saw any of this back? Nope, nope. And I, I mean, by the time he had cashed it, it was already too late. Many of the victims took the Suttons and Tri-County Fence and decked to small claims court and won, but they haven't gotten their money back. The Attorney General's office received more than 50 complaints against Tri-County Fence and Deck, but the charges filed only list 10 victims, totaling nearly $73,000 in losses. I'm excited. It ain't gonna put the money back in my bank account, but I'm glad to hear that we weren't just swept under the rug. Alexis Zotos, News 4. At this point, we're told the Attorney General's office will try the case in St. Charles County. We did reach out to see if anyone else will face charges, but we're still waiting to hear back.